Hello YouTube, it's Balemore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC for the PC, of course, and we're on part 51 of our series. Hooray! <laughs> we are just rocking through this game. It's been a couple days, actually it's been four or five days since I recorded You guys don't know that, I mean, you're seamlessly getting videos. But I'm starting to play around with some um, Adobe Premiere video editing software. I'm just kind of messing around with it because... I think one of the goals, because I'm always telling you guys I want to change for the better for the channel, and I think starting to really focus on uh, polishing up the videos with editing, I do pretty good with the pausing, but sometimes I'm wandering around a little too much, and I want to take out that filler time. Um, I don't always catch it with a pause, and I'd like to do a fade out at the end and transition fades and stuff like that, so it's just something that I want to... Um, focus on doing as far as videos go uh, publishing won't be as quick uh, but we should be okay for a while being my massive amount of backlogged uh, videos ready to publish on the other hand another thing I wanted to do with Adobe Premiere is be able to take customized thumbnails from our videos that we record and I say we because you're part of the channel family, you subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, I urge you to have you go out to the channel. Check it out. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button and join the channel family. But anyways, um, I thought it was, it'd was just be a good idea because I do look out while I'm making thumbnails for good um, game art. And then I uh, customize it the way that I want, resize it and all that. So I'm using Photoshop for that. But uh, I think including another Adobe product... Uh, would be a better transition. It seems to play nice with uh, Photoshop as well, being uh, formats and all that. But anywho, off the topic. So let's go to our quest journal. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hitting this treasure quest. I guess I got this somewhere. But uh, it wants us to read the note. Whatever that note is. Oh, while we're here, um, I chose the other mutagen. Um, and as you can see, we are significantly higher on the DPS now over a thousand I think what were we we were like 20 26 2800 something like that so quite a bit I'm gonna see how this goes it's not gonna be the three free decoctions um, but we're gonna just see if the straight raw DPS is gonna help a lot I'm just kind of still playing around with what I want um, I decided to add another red mutagen as well and uh, our health um, has gone down right there so only by 450 so not too much anywho I didn't think I mean we're on death march uh, and I'll show that it doesn't really matter you know 450 health isn't going to be a big deal alright let's see here let's just open one of these Probably that right there. And because I just set it. There you go. There's uh, Death March. Okay. So now the quest changed. Let's go ahead and see where that leads us. I think la last quest. Um, a second. Last quest we met the, um, well, it was a cursed woman, but it was a, um, a spotted white, they called her. And I thought it was an animal, but it turned out to be a witch. Which I thought was, like, a good touch. But anyways, let me um, make my way toward the quest here. I might as well keep you in the city here, because it's nice to see what's going on. Not just transition right over with a, a quick pause. I mean, it's, it's nice sometimes, but... Ooh. That band's playing again. It's always a real catchy tune. Very addicting. I can imagine being drunk listening to that and then be like, whoa. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. We're real close. Yeah. So I don't know where this is gonna, you know, take us. 
kind of treasure we got awaiting, but you know. This is. Ah. In here? Oh. It's gotta be above. Oh, maybe in here. Nope. I've always dreamt of traveling to the north. At your service. At your service. No. Oh, it is above. Okay. I bet he's at my service, sicko. Sometimes you get lost in this city. Good day. It's not you, is it you? It's not you. Congratulations on your victory in the tournament. Well, thank you. Nearby. There we go. Eat, drink, and be merry. Welcome to the pheasantry. The pheasantry. Spoon like this. When you set a place, where's it go? My oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note led me here. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. Hmm. See you later. I think I remember coming in here when I was doing the Gwent mission to play her. So we gotta go to the cellar. Let's see, I think oh, that might. That will take you. It's gotta be this door. How is it that you guess I was not feeding as well? Yep, this is the Gwent tournament, I think. That's not the cellar. And now I shall drink, dance, and repeat till the beat is through. Aha. I think we got this from the Spotted White Quest because it said it was a spoon key and I kind of remember. Kind regards. Um, decoctions. I did change up the decoctions a little bit and we're using the Akamara. I oh, guess we can't open that. I see the red door there, though. Don't freak out. I do see it, I promise. Um, let's just look over the decoctions, because I made the change, and I don't want you guys out of the loop. So I decided right now, you know, continue to use Kaya Can. It's a huge DPS boost. Since we have three decoctions we can use, um, given our armor, one of our armor sets, and uh, the um, skills, uh, decided to do this for raw DPS. You... you this is a must if you're going for DPS, in my opinion, from what I saw up there. Um, I also decided to do this. I thought that'd be a nice vitality boost, uh, being that uh, we're not eating food because we have too much health. And then, where are you? This one right here is that uh, vitality regen. Out, out of combat regen is better because then I don't want to sit there and worry about eating. That's what I decided to take. Ooh. What do we got here? I see a sword in my inventory. I think that's new. sword really isn't yet yeah, critical critical hit damage at 50% that's really good actually you got sign stuff armor piercing I like our weapons though get up there girl I keep like darting my eyes around move the microphone a little bit here yeah I'm trying to um, another thing I wanted to do, uh, not Audacity, I'm thinking another reason I wanted to go ahead and do the Adobe Premiere is so I can actually mess with the mic volume and not worry too much about music volume because I can just lower that um, through the program. So I think it's just time in our channel that we do that. 
Alright, how far do we? We have a very long ways to go. So let me pause it and I'll see you over there. Ooh, we got some necrophages. Oh, nope, I thought it was. Come here, doggy. to use world too you have to keep um see if you hold the button which i thought and then also if i hold shift it doesn't do anything because i have my um i think my alternate attack on q something like that but um if you double tap and hold then you can do your world it's pretty awesome i was wondering how to do it because when you get clumped up with enemies and i've got all this damage and bleed damage and poison damage. I wanted to start applying it, and I figured that with the crit, crit hit damage and all that, it would be a pretty badass skill. So let me unpause on another enemy fight unless we get there first. See you there. Oop, I hear Neckers over here. He goes. Blah, 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 blah. Is that a swamp hag? Whoa, it is. Oh, you mudded me. Come on, I want to do whirl on you. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, that was alright. I'm not too impressed with the damage. Um, I actually didn't see what level it was. I doubt it was higher than me, but I don't know. I thought it would have dropped it quicker, to be honest. Here's another enemy. I think. Or is that a doggy? Oh, it was a deer. Alright, I think we are... Actually, we're here. See? Time flies when you're having fun. Alright, so we need to find the st uh, studio... Okay, that's going to be a lot of damage if we fall. There we go. Ooh, entrance. Probably right under me. I don't want to fall down there. We'll play it safe. I've got all that regen, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's got flowers going on. He opened this. So that was that. I'm expecting some big old boss battle. Well, that's what I get for uh, thinking a treasure quest was. <laughs> some of them, though, they surprise you. I think we looted everything there. I mean, I don't need any alchemy formulas. I think I got all the formulas. Formulae, however you say it. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's just check it out as well. I mean, damn. I think those are... That's it? Nothing? All right, we're going to go kill... How much time we... 
We're about 15 on the button right now, so. Ooh, ooh, we might not be disappointed. There it is. Oh. Come here, honey. Skeletons. We gotta get Igni out. That's what I wanted. A skeleton army. Awesome. Oh my god. Get away from me. They do tag you pretty good too. There they go. Some of them. They have a, not very much health. Come on. Get away. Oh, she killed them. Okay, never mind. That's awesome. Yay. Um, I hadn't seen one of those wraiths yet that did the skeleton army only one time, and it wasn't when I was recording. It was when I was doing the unknown locations. So that was pretty cool to see that. And you can see just from our one decoction, guys, we have um, already regened out of combat very quickly. So that's pretty cool. I like it. So you can get her to kill her own army. I did not know that. If you can do an Igni when we were doing our sign build, um, it'll take them immediately out. They're very weak, but they do pack a punch if they get you. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I like throwing at least, even if it's just a quest, um, throwing in some gameplay because those of you, especially the loyal viewers um, that have been on the channel for a while or maybe just started and are watching a lot of the videos, I want you to be entertained. So I like to show you the city as I'm going through, explain what's going on, if I did anything different, because there's always questions, hey, what are you doing um, with XYZ, and I want to make sure you guys know what's going on. Also, there's no item changes, but those of you that may have missed it and aren't watching every video, uh, let me just go over my gear set again. This, you can put anything in there. Um, I don't even, I, I think that's just extra stats for me. Uh, I might be putting the feline in, but I'm not really sure. What was that? Does that mean I need a repair? That might mean I need to actually repair. What about that little anvil? I guess that means you gotta repair. Negative 24. Huh. Um, I mean, here's the bombs I am I should be using. I'm not even... The bombs weren't, like, astronomical. And here's the uh, different potions that I like. One of my subscribers, I doubt he's going to watch, but uh, just in case, I don't, I don't think he's, like, an avid watcher as far as every video goes, but uh, he takes a lot of poison damage in his Witcher 3 videos. Um, this is what he wants, um, total immunity, and it heals you. So any damage you take, just let them hit you with poison, and you're bumped right up again. It's pretty nice. Uh, it is a must. I don't know how you can do Death March, especially when you're just starting out on this DLC. Poison damage, all the damage was insane. So it was nice to do that. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. And until next time, as always, later.